fellas, we got some extremely beautiful ladies. We about to react to CJ the champ, Foshi Juro, the cursed baby daddy. Y'all go ahead and introduce yourself. Let them know where they can find you at. Um, hey, I'm Aria, RT Instagram. It's A R I A and then Aria. Um, my Instagram is Lusso2493. Same as my TikTok, Lusso2493, and Snapchat is Lusso2493. Hi, y'all. I'm Miss Mason, and my S S M A C Y N on Instagram. And then there's another N at the end, Miss Mason on TikTok, and Miss Mason on YouTube as well, and Mason the Goat on Twitter. And I just dropped an EP literally yesterday. It's on SoundCloud. If you just search up Miss Mason, it's how I spelled it. Hi guys, I'm Alicia. You can follow me on Instagram at Alicia underscore Marisol. It's A-L-I-C-I-A underscore M-A-R-I-S-O-L. And the link will be in the bio. Hi everybody, my name's Chima. Um, you, you can find me on Instagram at I am underscore Chima underscore. And my TikTok is Chima underscore artist. Check out my art and tell me what you think. Real Murray has been more sure than me. That baby look like you? Yes, no, baby. sir. You like me, Murray? I don't know. How would I know? In the case of five-year-old Megumi Toji, you are the father. <laughs> That's how I be, though. though. Mm -hmm. Mother's be too excited. I knew it. I knew you was the father. <laughs> yeah, I, be, though. I did watch Murray, though. I ain't going to lie. You know you. That's an OG show right there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Shibuya Trials. Why the f did I just say it like that? Let me start that over. Welcome <laughs> to the Shibuya Trials, where we will be having not one, but two new challenges coming to the round table. Both challenges are hailing from a series that is absolutely popping off right now. And with the new ranking system we are introducing today, these niggas best bring the heat. As they come to be judged, will they make it? Or will they utterly fing fail? <laughs> Making his way to the stage right Hell now, nah. challenger one. Coming in at around six foot two, about two hundred something pounds of straight raw muscle and pure ignorance. He has already submitted himself into the hall of fame of anime deadbeat dads. <laughs> Dead. And he is competing with Dojo, making these hoes fall to their knees. And I'm not joking about this. Some of these Twitter hoes need literal help. Toji, she can We all already know we got all that evidence on deck. And it is now time to commence the Shibuya. Your trials. Well, that's what they do. Exhibit A. Bum, bum. <sighs> Toji Fushi Girl. Where the hell do I even start? You no, know it. Let's go ahead and get the egregious shit out the way. The nigga sold his son. <laughs> Yep, what? we ain't holding nothing back with this nigga. <laughs> this right, so they saw it. Support. <laughs> out of here. I ain't paying that bullshit. And the thing that makes it worse, he <laughs> sold like the loan to the Zenin clan. Mm -hmm. The clan that he does not fuck with because they discriminated against his ass. Like, <laughs> nigga, selling your son is crazy. But nah, the first time you crazy. see this nigga, bro, bro is out here gambling his motherfucking <laughs> life away. Bro's partner come up behind him. He like, oh, Jerry, what's going on with you, boy? I see you out here gambling your motherfucking life away. Hey, nigga, you still unemployed? Man, chill, bro. You know that unemployment <laughs> check be hitting like a motherfucker. <laughs> <ass. laughs> yeah. Bro loses and his parlay just went to shit. And before this man leaves, he asks Toji the question. Hey, uh, how your son doing? Megumi, yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, Megumi, Megumi, Megumi. My head forgot. I don't know who you're talking about, bro, bro. Right. Got his son. Serious? <laughs> this motherfucker <laughs> forgot his son's name. Oh, my. He wasn't mine. Oh, bro. Holy <laughs> fuck. Nigga, how the hell you <laughs> tell his first name? It ain't like you got like 12 motherfucking kids, nigga. You have Nick one son. You got that nigga name. Nigga, that ain't got all the kids. I just want to hear the call CPS probably got to have with this nigga. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Hello, this is CPS, Child Protective Services. Are we speaking to Mr. Fushiguro? Uh, yeah. Outstanding. Okay, Mr. Fushiguro, as we can see on our records, it seems that um you have not paid your child support in about 48 months. Is everything good, Mr. Fushiguro? Uh, yeah. Son, I don't even know who the fuck you talking about. Um, sir, it clearly shows that you have a son on the record. Oh, my God. Uh, um, Mr. Fushiguro, hello? Oh, Lord. Hello? Oh, fuck, I gotta uh -huh. take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> 
crazy. You may be walking around and looking like a bum, but I ain't gonna lie. This man's smart as hell. So he has to hunt down this little girl named Rico because she's a star plasma vessel and she's got Gojo and Ghetto protecting her. And obviously that's two special grade sorcerers. So Toji puts a bounty on her head to make a bunch of dudes come after her and make Gojo and Ghetto tire out. So Toji could basically get the jump on the ass when they MP bar low. Cause this is not Toji's first run in with Gojo. Bro had to come prepared because back in the day, Toji wanted to go find out what's all the hype about this little nigga in the Gojo clan. So Toji was behind him trying to get the scouting report, but Gojo's old little ad turned around and he was like, Mommy, there's a stalker behind us. Enemy spotted. This man Toji was shook. He was like, boy, ain't no way I should be invisible. I got active camo equipped. But even though this man had stealth 100 and no curse energy, bro still got spotted. So this man knew I gotta tire him out before I sneak his ass. And what do you know, later on when the mission's almost complete, Toji snitched this nigga. Oh, bro was like, yeah, mm, got your, right your through the body. Ass. You know the hoes gonna love this. But now nah, Ghetto ends up throwing out one of his muff and Pokemon. Looks like bro summoned an ugly ass oversized Weedle. But Toji sliced through this ass <laughs> yeah. like it was paper. Oh. And now we get to observe the first man that this man cooked. Gojo, believe it or not, this sexy ass nigga got his ass beat. I know all the hoes was on life support seeing Gojo get his ass whooped. So Gojo end up telling him, hey, bro, the bounty's off of her head, bro. But this man told you, told him, man, young blood, I took that motherfucker down because I set that bitch. Oh, my God. Bro was a scammer. So Toji starts moving <laughs> <and> <laughs> with, scammers, with his great ass physicality because of his heavenly restriction. But this man goes. Got my face, whole ass nigga. And he said, This man told you flying. Look at the ragdoll physics. But this did not stop this man at all. Bro is moving like Sonic on them bouncy ass springs. But Gojo <laughs> said, To hell with this. Hey, and just Sonic that nigga. The entire though. area thinking he did something. But this man summoned a bunch of nasty ass mosquitoes. Oh. Looking like it's summer down here in the fucking oh. southeast. Uh, hell no. This is disgusting, bro. And this is yeah. Gojo girls. Walk. What y'all doing with all them bugs? What you gonna do if they're around you? Right. Well, I oh god. I'm running. I just give up. <laughs> god damn, that look like some flying bed bugs or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm running and crying. Yeah. <laughs> no way, that's crazy. Vlogs are just annoying though. Stabbing the shit out of this nigga. Bro became Michael Myers. Then he went for the leg. Started filleting that nigga. Then he hits him with the hell sweep. Then stabs him in the head and slams him on the ground. Jesus. Mm, yeah, stab him in and slam on the ground. He should have been finished when he was stabbing the leg. But yeah, he should have been finished. the fucking weight room, weak ass boy. So after Toji put this man Gojo on a poster, meanwhile, Ghetto's with Rico. And I ain't going to. So then it starts playing this emotional last music with her backstory playing in the background. Like that ain't a red flag. And she like, oh my God, you're so sweet. Huh? Oh, I know I am. Take my hand, shawty. It sounds like this. Wow, right here. Damn. No. You got knocked the fuck out, man. Give me my gut. <laughs> <laughs> This man told you one pump the shit out of this bitch. Right in front of this man ghetto. This man told you was like, I ain't gonna lie, my boy. I was hearing all that shit and I just had to stop you from embarrassing yourself. So ghetto got mad as hell and attacked him with another Pokemon. Shit, this one like a very No, because that's though. insane. So it ends up slamming him down that is with insane. Tunes. But the attack did absolutely nothing to him. Bro has no scratches. <laughs> and I ain't gonna lie, this next part is nasty as hell. So Toji starts explaining how he be moving with no curse energy and how he be using Sneak 100 without being detected and this man pukes a cursed spirit that he keeps inside of his stomach that basically stores all of his cursed tools so basically this nigga's inventory <laughs> that's a face i'm making <laughs> that's that's what? but you know what if you really think about it bro really got a video game inventory so gato sends his big ass cursed dragon at him again and starts shooting these beams at him but he starts quick stepping them hoes jumps up slices the dragon in half and he's got this man gato probably shitting himself because he's bamboozled he is like how was a measly monkey doing this right now <laughs> So while they on this bridge, Ghetto pulls out his final attack, and this man brings out the slit mouth woman, asking, Am I pretty? With your ugly ass. But Toji's like, God, nah, bitch, you ugly as shit. And slices that motherfucker up. So then Toji started slicing up Ghetto, put the X marks the spot on his ass, probably gave him the Luffy chest scar, then set the 20 dirt out and the fuck out this nigga right before the bridge falls. And it was over for bro. 
GG's. And look at this yeah. disrespectful shit. Bo well, just I told you up really like body that. And just kicked the shit yeah, out of this yeah. unconscious uh. bitch. <laughs> Bo's like, you ugly That nigga was playing tic tac toe with it. Shut your trap, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nigga was no, literally. And you know That's us right there, you know. He finished beating their ass. This ends up jogging his memory. And he's like, oh, I do have a son. Really, nigga? So later on, that he, it. <laughs> he delivers old girl's corpse over to the client, and she ends up getting shattered out like cell shat out 18. And this nasty old ass looking nigga like, mm, yes, yes, very good. Looks like the body's intact, and the bitch is not breathing. Excellent work, young gentleman. I will be sending like you a bonus. <laughs> Look at this on his head. <laughs> Yeah, the told you is leaving, probably <laughs> going to the dealership, going to buy the Hellcat. But he ends up seeing this man Gojo looking like a absolute fiend, a straight booty bandit. Well, I obviously <laughs> told you, man, he tripping. He like, <laughs> what the fuck going on? Sitting here fantasizing by laying you on your stomach and tuning that big old red ass up. Oh my God. Squirting. I know, that's crazy. <laughs> It's about some bullshit out here explaining how he survived. Nigga, we get it. You're broken. Somebody for real need to get the patch notes on this nigga. Like, bro is actually busted. But told you was like, oh, hell no. I'm about to send your crackhead ass to rehab. So told you started attacking, but it was futile. This motherfucker done unlocked Ultra Instinct. Bro said, bag your ass up, nigga. Red. <laughs> This Whoa. man told you done got blasted. And bro is floating. What type of shrooms is he on? This is a level <laughs> of high that is just oh, yeah, this unexplainable. Nigga's on I told you was like, ah, hell nah. I ain't about to lose no pretty ass nigga. Oh, he started whipping the chain. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at this. Time has <laughs> just slowed for bro. Bro said, we <laughs> like what are you supposed to do mm -hmm. about this? How do you fight this? I ain't gonna lie, if I was told you, I would have just gave up. There is no point of fighting this broken ass nigga. But it was too late. Gojo hit him with the purple. Oh no, nah, this nigga's too sexy. <laughs> <laughs> and sadly, this man told you. Got a hole blown through him. But then Gojo come down and say, Any last words? Uh, fuck you, you pretty ass motherfucker. But also, <laughs> tell my son to be a real nigga like his baby. Later. Hey, little man, how's it going? So, uh, your dad wanted me to come and uh, check up on you, man. Everything going good, bro? Dad? Wait a minute. I have a dad? Is this nigga serious? I didn't know he had a dad. That's crazy, though. Yeah, sure, I love that. Exhibit A wrap up. Selling his son, dodging child support, trespassing, scamming niggas, attempted murder, murder, attempted murder, trafficking. Exhibit B. Oh, that was trafficking. Dang. All righty, ladies and gentlemen. What more could it, it be? It is time for our grandiose finale. Daddy's home. We now shift our focus to 12 years later on a gruesome Halloween night in the Shibuya district. Now, as we can Last see, all hell is broke loose. Niggas wow. is getting f***ed up. But we shift our focus over to this old lady, her grandson, and Eno, or what I like to call him, the shiesty sorcerer. So while Eno and her grandson are throwing hands, the old lady in the back is doing some damn witchcraft. She's basically a necromancer. So she ends up reviving Toji in her grandson's body so he could use Toji's body. Nigga, what the fuck? You know, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I do not know JJK's power system like that. You what? I can already hear the JJK fans typing on their fucking keyboards <laughs> like, boo you, nigga. Yeah, that's right. Boo me, nigga. Hey, all I just know is the old lady with um, nigga, la, boo, nigga, la, blah, 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 in the nigga's back. But anyways, this man Eno tries to attack him, but Toji takes his shiesty, punches him in the face, then so grabs him by the took collar, shiesty, man. and stands in his soul like, oh, fake ass gangster wearing this damn shiesty. Shut I'm a fake gangster, and Eno. Bro off of the sky is nobody. Oh my God, look at Itadori looking at bro like, oh, Brody, you got your ass beat and your shiesty snatched. 
Who could have done this? <laughs> but here is when this gets absolutely insane. So the old lady like, oh yes, excellent work, grandson. Now go down there and kill all those sorcerers for granny. But her grandson start twitching and glitching. And then the unthinkable happened. Bro turns around and says, what did you say, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> wow, this man told you he's in full control now. Bro's body is so damn strong, probably from the heavenly restriction. He basically just little bro the grandson's soul and snatched that nigga body. And then just look at this bro. Hell no. And he's just about to kill over her like, okay, night, night yeah. old bitch. Oh, Lord, sweet Jesus. Don't kill oh, granny. my so God. He knocked the pearls off of her. That's <laughs> great. Damn. That's like the not your grandma, not the one that just take care of you. Everybody loved that grandma that cooked the good food on Sunday. He's like, come on, man. The one that brought you to life. Yeah, dang. Yeah. Hey, that grandma <laughs> did look like some shit off Man in Black, though, so. <laughs> black eyes, so. I don't own no. Oh, no. Just murdered a senior citizen. Later on, Nanami, Megumi, Maki, and Nabito are trying to run away from Dagon in his bikini bottom ass domain expansion because they was getting their ass beat. But while they're trying to get out, a hole opens and a father finally came home to bring back that milk. <laughs> so the first yeah, he's always bringing that milk home. He grabs Maki's weapon and starts yeah. tugging that shit like, give me that shit. And just yanks it away from her, like taking candy from a baby. <laughs> and while he's walking towards Dagon, now be towing some real eyes. Like, on. Oh, sweet <laughs> Jesus, told you. And this man was just walking like a Terminator, a literal killing machine. So Dagon's old ugly ass looking like Squidward in a Mind Flayer fuse <laughs> started thinking, uh, he has no curse energy. <laughs> This is barbecue chicken. But my man was about to get cooked and served into a gourmet yeah, food at yeah. a seafood joint. So uh. Dagon turns pregnant. Y'all was thinking the same thing. I thought that nigga looked like a lobster. <laughs> <laughs> I, hey, don't get on me, but I never had lobster before in my life. I never had like I know it's like, crazy. Well, I have never. Had lobster. never. I, I had that. like crabs, but not. You had, rock, you lobster. had lobster. Okay, Never in my life, crabs. bro. You had crabs. That's cool. Oysters? Yeah, I had oysters. Okay, yeah. oysters. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. Catfish? Yes. I'm about to say you ain't Muscle? black, man. <laughs> <laughs> my black heart finna be vanished, bro. Dang. <laughs> Shoots out this fat ass eel, but Toji slaps it and splits the sea like Moses in damn hard. He hit this man so hard, he indented his face and lifted his ass 10 toes off the ground. So he sends him flying and starts walking him down on the water and beating his ass with these nunchucks. He got this buff ass octopus fighting for his life. And then look at this, he ends up sending oh, out these octopus. He's wow. one lands on his face, but he bit that nigga. You know how raw you gotta be to bite a damn piranha oh no nah. so then he hits him in his pregnant <laughs> again and he ends up trapping him yeah, and him on the water and a bunch of piranhas start oh. nibbling on him then this fat ass mm. water bug comes from the oh. depths of the ocean and sends uh. him flying a big water bug he, all the he, no. he the water shit, bug. but he's really like that down. It's like that. The <laughs> fight just got brutal. Now they're on shore, and Toji just starts walking the bro and just starts beating the shit out of him. Just hitting them over and over again. He even wrapped up on bro and drop kicked his ass. <laughs> they started sharpening these damn nunchucks, ready to take the life out of man's bro. Said, anybody down for some fried calamari? So Dagon ends up becoming pussy and tries to dip so he doesn't become seafood. But now he just stops him and Toji jumps up and stabs him in the head. And this is where. Toji's voice Man. actor turned back into his most famous role. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Lobster's new lobster and shrimp celebration. <laughs> After this man Toji turned Dagon into fried calamari, it was time for uh some father son bonding. So Toji oh, looks at Megumi and just throws him out the window. And poor Megumi, because goddamn, it was time for some tough love. Bro was looking at him like, what's good, little nigga? Before I died, I hope to God you became a raw ass nigga. So let's test your gangster, young blood. And I know he ain't know this was his son. But god damn. 
people swooping his ass. <laughs> Look at him running at him. Girl started blocking his attack with one hand and back him. Head butler and everything. So then Megumi summoned the Rayman raving rabbits. And then this is where the animation was just cracked out. Bro stepped on the ground, got a bunch of debris from the ground, and basically made him bullets and started okay. shooting all the rabbits. Out here committing animal oh cruelty. God. First to Octo what? Omega, and Dang. now the Rayman raving what rabbits. What did the rabbits I know the do? hotline going crazy. Rabbits, they do nothing, man. Like my lord, this giving me some bad memories. I remember I never failed to test again after my dad pulled the belt on me in first grade. Man, look at him, bro, even throwing a shotgun at him. But then okay. Koji ends up stabbing him. But then he bags off and just starts looking at his little shaky ass like, oh no, nah, that's my boy. So then he started remembering <laughs> how he sold him, thinking that it was the best form. And the dead mama in the background, like, take care of Megumi, honey. So then Toji says, yeah, fuck that. Huh? I'm not paying that fucking child support. Adios, little nigga. Did he just kill himself? Yes. Damn. Wow. I would rather. Oh my goodness. That is crazy. Wow. Damn, you would rather kill yourself than to pay child support? Um, I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot yeah, money. but it's a lot of money, but y'all wouldn't be taking it from the guys. <laughs> That's, That's not taking it from your kids. That's not taking it. They're taking care of your children. Why do the woman got to take care of the kids? But look, 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 some women don't even use the money for the kids. Some girls use it for no Because getting take care of the kids the whole rest of the time. The mother. So okay. we got to use our own money. So whatever comes to us, that's still just reimbursing our seats. Okay, she make a point. <laughs> <laughs> Off himself and pay that child support. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the end of our first trial. And with very valid, clear cut evidence, Mr. Fushiguro makes this with ease. Here we go. One trial down, one to go. <laughs> when will it drop? Yeah. Oh. Hey, right, that's pretty much it right there. Appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate everybody coming out, no cap. But what y'all think about this video, though? What do y'all have to say about this video, though? It was insane. Here we go. It's been all that. <laughs> it wasn't ready. That was I mean, a lot. Damn. <laughs> if I was actually sitting there, like, watching it, I would not have seen any of those twists coming. Yeah. Uh, it was definitely a lot of twists. Uh, killing yourself at the end. Killing the grandma. Like that killing the grandma. <laughs> hey, damn, yeah. She could have helped Dude. out with the kids. She could have yeah, right <laughs> <in. laughs> like, given him some guidance or something or just some support. Yeah. But you gotta remember his body was taken, he was being controlled. That was not himself though. <laughs> That's right. the only thing about it. Uh, grandma, though. You said took the grandma's life? That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> grandma should have talked to him or something. Like, come on, you know you love me. Some gay gave, gave yeah. me some fried mm -hmm. chicken, some cookies. She was evil, too, though. She was The grandma was evil because she was telling people to go kill the other people. She was evil, too, yeah. though. Okay, so she got her karma. All right. Yeah, she got her karma, man. Yeah. Yeah, y'all. But, I mean, y'all got anything else to say? Mm -hmm. He should have yeah, been follow me. Okay, <laughs> what's your IG then? Loso twenty four ninety three. Black. <laughs> what's your IG? Me. You call me Black. We're going <laughs> off the shirt. We're going off the shirts. We're going off the shirts. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Uh, Black. <laughs> blue shirt. What's your IG? Artis, um, A R I I, and then artist, spelled with a Z. Chima, what's your IG? I am underscore Chima, C H I M A underscore. Okay, black. <laughs> what's your, oh, what's black. your, uh, um, not Hi. black jacket, but. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, uh, but go ahead. It's, it's okay, <laughs> but it's good. Is Miss Mason M I S S M A B Y N? That's me. And you, mm -hmm. jacket. My in my Instagram is Alicia underscore Marisol A L I C I A underscore M A R I S O L.
Bye.